Hello everyone, I'm Angelo Pigo, Product Marketing Manager for RTS Intercoms. In this video, we are going to demonstrate connecting a DBP digital belt pack to an ODIN digital intercom matrix. First, let's look at all the items needed to install a DBP with an ODIN matrix. In the basic setup for this demonstration, we have a computer running our IP edit software, a DBP, an ODIN, a PoE power over ethernet switch, and an LH300 headset. To connect DBP to ODIN, you will need a PoE switch that runs on 802.3 AF or 802.3 AT standards. For ethernet cables, we recommend using CAT5E cable or better with a 13 ohm or less resistance. DBP connects to ODIN using Omnio IP technology for media transport and control data. Technologies such as Dante AES70 are fully supported within Omnio. We offer Omnio standard on all ODINs ranging from 16 to 128 ports in a single rack space unit. Let's get started on connecting our devices. On the back of the ODIN, you will find the RJ45 Omnio connectors labeled J10. Connect an ethernet cable from one of the two Omnio ports to a port on your PoE switch. Then from a second port on your PoE switch, connect an ethernet cable to the PoE in on the DBP. Power from the switch will light up the display on the DBP. After the startup RTS screen, the display will show a disconnect message and no connection on the DBP if it is not configured. The computer running IP edit will connect to the switch or to the second Omnio port on the back of the ODIN. The DBP, ODIN, and computer running IP edit need to be on the same subnet in order to communicate with each other. I want to reiterate, the DBP, ODIN, and computer running IP edit need to be on the same subnet. You also need to be running as a user with administration rights within the IP edit software. On the front panel of the ODIN, Press the PS1, PS2 buttons to power up the ODIN. The frame powers on, the display lights up, and the home screen appears. Now we will add an ODIN frame within IP Edit. Open IP Edit. From the device menu, select Add. The Add Devices window appears and opens to the Search tab. Select one or more available devices. The Add button will become active, and then you can click the Add button. The selected devices will then appear in the device catalog on the left panel. Click the Done button and the Add Devices window closes. To configure ODIN using IP Edit, do the following. Using the Channel Configuration pane, in the Destination Device Name field, click the Search button. The Discovered Devices window appears. Expand the tree to view the destination devices available. From the from the expanded tree, select the desired device for the destination and click OK. Or if you're manually configuring, in the destination device name field, enter the name of the device to which the channel will connect. From the destination type drop down menu, select the type of device to which to connect, in this case, DBP. From the destination channel drop down menu, select the channel to which the ODIN connects. In this case, we're connecting to channel one on the DBP. Send the changes to the ODIN. Now we will add DBP to IP Edit. Select Add from the Device menu. The Add Devices screen displays. Select one or more available devices. The Add button becomes active and now you are able to click it. The selected devices display in the device catalog. Click the Done button and the screen closes. Now we will configure an Omnio channel for DBP using IP Edit. To configure an Omnio channel for DBP using IP Edit, do the following. Using the channel configuration pane, in the destination device name field, click the search button. The discovered devices screen displays. Expand the tree to view the destination devices available. Select the desired device for the destination. Click OK. The screen closes. Select the channel 
to which the device connects. In this example, I'm connecting to channel 23 on the Odin. Send the changes to the DBP. If you need to change offers or key panel assignments on the DBP, it can also be easily done within the DBP menu. Navigate to the DBP offers menu item by selecting Setup, Offers, DBP Offers. Press the Select button and the field becomes active. Rotate either master volume control knob to scroll through the available offers. Press the Select button to confirm the change. Now I will show you updating key assignments on the DBP. Navigate to the key assignments menu item by selecting Setup and Key Assignments. Rotate the master volume control knob to navigate to the desired talk key. Press the select button. The talk key button turns red and the display shows the talk key as scrollable. Rotate to either master volume control knob to scroll through the available assignments and press the select button to confirm the selection. The last function I want to show is volume adjustments. From the main screen on the DBP, click either encoder and the master volume activates. Click the AC encoder once for key A and twice for key C. The listen volumes adjustment for the key activates and the volume bar appears on the key. Clicking the encoder will continue to the sequence between master and A and C channel volumes. Holding the encoder when the volume bar appears on the key will mute and unmute the channel on the DBP. The B and D channel encoders operate in the exact same way. Now we are able to communicate between the DBP and other devices that are on the Odin Matrix network. That concludes configuring and connecting our DBP to our Odin Matrix. Thanks for watching. For further information, please visit rtsintercoms.com. If you need to contact us for sales, service, or support, please visit our contacts page to write or call your local RTS representatives. Thank you.